The two men in this famous painting by Winslow Homer seem entirely at home in their surroundings. The taller man's red shirt stands out against the distant green slopes, while the shorter man, with his thick grey beard, looks almost like part of the landscape. He rests an axe on his shoulder and carries a woven pack basket, unique to this Adirondack region. It's an autumn day in the mountains, and a couple of wilderness guides are out on the trail. According to an article in the journal Atlantic Monthly, the man on the right, Orson Old Man Phelps, was a well-known local character and a true citizen of the wilderness. His tawny hair was long and tangled, matted now many years past the possibility of being entered by a comb. His clothes seemed to have been put on him once and for all, like the bark of a tree, a long time ago. Phelps points to something in the distance, perhaps recommending a path to his younger companion, Charles Munro Holt. Behind them, to the right, you can make out the stump of a fallen tree and new growth reaching toward the sky. The painting deals with the complex relationship between human beings and nature, the handing down of traditions from one generation to the next, and the inevitable cycle of life, young man to older man, sapling to tree. <laughs> 